well, my parents, probably as far back as I can remember, always enjoyed wine with, you know, uh, an evening meal. They were enophiles, I guess you would say. Their friends all enjoyed wine. They were kind of students of wine, and that just evolved into ultimately a kind of a greater curiosity and deciding to jump into the wine business. I think really initially they had intended just to grow a few acres of grapes, but uh, things just evolved and I think we started in 1988 or 1889 with five acres of, of vineyard and ultimately ended up with close to 700 acres after about 10 years. We were looking to sort of tap into the a little bit of the heritage of the film career that my dad was involved with back in the 50s and the 60s, portrayed Daniel Boone and Davy Crockett. So that kind of rustic theme kind of carries through a lot of what we do. To be very honest with you, I was a, more of a beer drinker. I hadn't developed a, a real taste for wine at that point. I was in my late 20s and had a, an opportunity to really work closely with the winemaker, the original winemaker that they hired in 1990. Two, uh, in the fall, I started an apprenticeship program under uh, a gentleman named Jed Steele, who's a world-renowned winemaker. I spent three years working under Jed. That three-year window was just a trial by fire, basically. I fell in love with the business, and the more I studied and the, the more I hung out with the people here locally that were involved in it, I just realized, you know, this is a, a great lifestyle and a fun business, and I think I'm going to jump in with both feet. It's, a, it's been an exciting endeavor for us. It really has allowed us to kind of take a lot of the resources that we have at hand, the ranch where the vineyards are located, a great little community like Los Olivos, and frankly, some incredible sort of agricultural opportunities to tie those into the ranch. It's trying to get that full expression of the site. You hear people talk about terroir uh, or locality of wines. Chardonnay, for example, is grown and, and produced all over the world, but what makes it so unique and special in all these different areas is the expression of the local character of the terroir. I'm sure a lot of people have heard of farm to table. This kind of takes it one step beyond that and it's sort of our farm to table. The Bear and Star is the name of the restaurant and the name was sort of born out of a nod towards Texas where my father was born and raised and where our head chef spent a number of his formative years and California. So California Bear, Texas Star, put the two together and it's kind of a catchy name I think.